So that is the interesting thing that we have to see in the net present value of time, that how do you trade or how do you maximize the value of your time against your net worth? Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to a new concept of net present value of time. Not cash, time. And I'm going to be doing this from this gorgeous Lake Louise in the Banff National Park in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. A quick introduction about myself. My name is Yogi and my wife Seema and I, we both achieved financial independence before the age of 50 and retired early. And to celebrate that, we are on this one year round the world trip. That is what brings us to the Rocky Mountains. And just before this video, we were hiking somewhere in the mountains up there, not that high as you see, or the glacier that you see, much lower than that. And right now it's a little bit of a short break and I thought I'll share this uh, concept with you. All right, back to the topic. You know, we make a lot of business cases for our clients, for the companies that we work for. These business cases deal with the CAPEX, OPEX, savings, um, cash flow, and the net present value of cash. And these business cases are typically reviewed by our peers, our supervisors, and we spend hours and hours, you know, modifying that those Excel sheets. Interestingly enough, we never spend time or make a business case about our time. The most precious commodity that we ever get on this uh, you know, on this planet. And for that, I'm going to introduce you to this, what I call the net present value of time. And to do that, let's first understand the net present value of cash. So in, I guess most of you may already know about this, but just in layman terms, it is the value of cash that you have probably in future. So for example, if someone offers you $100 today, versus offering you $200 in 10 years time, would you want $200 in 10 years time or $100 today? The same concept applies to time. Would you want to trade your time today for years tomorrow or the other way around? Um, so to do that, how do we calculate? So there is no um, you know, formula like we have for net present value of cash, at least I've not come up with that. So if anyone has great ideas to do that, please do reach out to me on and comment in the, the on the video below. Uh, for me, it's a very simple uh, mathematic equation. So what you do is open an Excel sheet like you do for a business case and in the columns put number of weeks in a year. So it's 52 columns. And in rows, put years in an average year or life expectancy, which is let's say 90 years. Um, so the cells that you have with those um, columns versus rows, you will see you have 4,680 cells. Those are the number of weeks that are given to us on this planet. That's it. Some people are lucky that they get probably a few more weeks or few year, few more years. And some people are less fortunate. They may get a few less weeks or a few less years um, on this planet. But give or take, 4,680 weeks is what we have. And like the NPV for cash, time also has different value at different points of our lives. So in that Excel sheet, probably in the first 500 weeks, those are our infancy, toddler, toddler, elementary school years where we have less control of our time. Those are formative years, but they are still um, years where we probably have less to, to say or do. Similarly, on the other end of the spectrum, when we are in our early 90s or late 80s, um, that's again where probably we have less control of our time. There's another video that I've done about the go-go years, the slow-go years, and the no-go years. And typically, those are our uh, no-go years where we have probably less control. So in middle is that's where we have let's say the, the maximum control of what we can do with our uh, the time. And there are a certain number of weeks that we've already spent so far. So for example, 
I am 50 years old and so give or take around 2600 weeks is what's already gone. Poof, I, I can't recover that uh, weeks again. What is left with me is the rest. So this is it. So this is what the, the, the boxes in that or the, the cells in that Excel sheet, those are the number of weeks that you have to maximize. Now, to make it more interesting, what you should do is you should add another column with uh, the number of rows equal to the, the years where you look at your net worth and how the net worth changes. And what you will see is that over time, the net worth goes up. But interestingly, the time that is left with us keeps going down. So that is the interesting thing that we have to see in the net present value of time, that how do you trade or how do you maximize the value of your time against your net worth? And how do you build your net worth um, towards your journey to financial independence in a way that you can trade that time? So in our case, Seema and I, we both traded that net worth growth towards the time to do activities like that, like what we are doing right now. If I would have continued working for the next many more years, I'm sure my net worth would have been a lot more than what it is today. But that's where I decided that this is for me is enough and I'm going to, you know, use my remaining years to enjoy or use the maximum value of my time to do all these activities. So that's the question number one that you need to ask yourself as a self-reflection that what is that inflection point of your net worth versus the time uh, dimension. The second thing is that every week that passes by us is a week that is gone. So in that Excel sheet, every time you finish a week, you should make that, you cross that cell and just put it as red so that that is irrecoverable. Unlike cash, where if you go to a shop, you can probably even get a refund for, or even in the business case, you can salvage money. But the time, it's irreversible or irrevocable, that you can't recover it back. So that is the other thing that you have to ask yourself, that in this maximum prime years, for every week passing, how are you using those weeks towards your journey to financial independence, towards your journey, towards gaining experiences. Um, so these are the few things that are, I would say, interesting to put in an Excel sheet. And probably on a week on week, if week on week is a little bit too much, then at least on month on month, just do a reflection that for the time that is passing by, how are you using it towards maximizing it? So I hope this short little video of self-reflection on time and the net present value of the time that we have today um, helps you to do a little bit of uh, soul searching on that. Um, do like or subscribe and share this video if you find it interesting. Please also comment and do reach out to me if there is any uh, discussion which is uh, you know about this topic. I'd be happy to engage in a dialogue about this. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.